try to make me look as little egg. It's recording, so. Okay. <laughs> Hello! So today I'm doing a full body workout with no machines. All I'm going to be using is this 25 pound plate. So we're going to hit all body parts. It should be a good one. Alright, so this whole workout is all going to be supersets. So two exercises back to back with little to no rest. Starting out, I'm focusing on chest for this first superset. I'm starting with an incline press. I keep the bench at 30 degrees and I just press directly straight up towards the ceiling. And then I move down to the floor and I do floor presses. So you'll go down until right before your elbows touch the floor. Keep your shoulders back and let your arms just bend pretty naturally as you go down. Just try to not let your elbows flare out on the side. <laughs> Next superset will focus more on shoulders. So the first one is um, an overhead shoulder plate rotation. This is the first time I'm doing these, so I'm trying to get the form down, but I really like them the first time and I'll probably continue to do them. Just remember to take it slow and make sure to keep your torso stable and facing forward throughout this movement. <laughs> You're so close to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then next, moving on to an overhead press. Pretty straightforward here, but I just start with the plate kind of facing parallel towards me in front of my face. And then as I press up, I rotate it so that it's perpendicular above my head. And then I kind of put my head through at the top of the movement to make sure the plate is directly above me. And then I'm pushing in a vertical straight line. You look shredded. Thank you. <laughs> you can do it. A couple more. <gasps> Moving on, we're going to focus a little more on back on this superset. So I'm going to do single arm bent over row here. I'm using the bench. Main thing, just make sure to keep your back straight and everything stable and you're only pulling the plate up just by driving your elbow up. Try not to twist your body around. Um, if it's too heavy and you find yourself using more of your body to pull it, just bring the weight down and focus on your form here. Then we're going to a bent over row. So no bench this time. I'm just leaning over again with my back neutral and I pull the plate up to my boobies by pulling my elbows up and back. And just like the floor press, let your arms bend pretty naturally, but just try not to let your elbows flare out. Next, we're doing a quick superset with legs. So I'm starting with a walking lunge with um, the plate overhead in a hold. And these are pretty straightforward as well. Just make sure to keep a stable and tight core as you're holding the plate up. And I'm stepping forward and slightly to the side on each step during this lunge. Alternatively, if you're limited on space, you can just do reverse lunges as I'm doing right now. Next exercise, we're going to do sumo squat pulses. So start with a wide stance and your toes pointed out. And you're going to go down into the sumo squat with knees over your toes and your butt sitting back and then just do pulses in that position for the whole set, so the 10 reps. When holding the plate in front of me here, I make sure to keep my shoulders back and my chest up. And for the final superset, we are going to do abs. So first one is a raised oblique crunch. This is one of my favorite exercises that my friend showed me just last year. So this you're just holding the plate down to the side as you see, and just really make sure to keep your body in a straight line and follow this straight line as you're curving and crunching up with your oblique to the side. And then from there we're going to the floor and doing a full sit up. For these I keep my legs straight and I just sit up using my core. I don't um, use my arms for momentum so really try not to do that because if you swing up with your arms for momentum you're not using as much of your core um, and that would just be cheating and no one likes a cheater. And I just start with the plate directly in front of me at the bottom and then above my head at the top of the movement. And that is the end of the workout. I do about three to four sets of each of these supersets. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.